originally these, these figures had eyes, and the eyes were important. They're often rather realistic. They would be made of polished stone or some other kind of uh, precious material. And they were occasionally ripped out because, you know, you, you, in, as cultures change, you tear the eyes out of the god to kind of make sure they can't see you. And that room until today has been a room without eyes because every figure has had the eyes removed. And I thought for the last six months to give Haddad his eyes back might kind of do something and maybe even be a bit, um, I don't know, risky or scary or frightening. But actually it makes his face look quite good. And you realize he's got quite a passive smile, in fact. Politically speaking, every Western museum is complicated. We know that they took things, that people took them away and put them somewhere else. And there are little soft references to that in the show. What you're already hearing in the room of the weather god is the sound of shipping and construction from contemporary Syria and Iraq, right? but it's slowed down, it's made unclear. It's sort of rendered into this soundscape which becomes more emotional. It's suggestive of movement, of machinery, of construction, but it could also be the sounds of an ancient god. When we walk in these spaces, you just kind of pan through with your eyes and you don't sometimes stop. You see it as an assemblage. But with these little interventions, sometimes very, very subtle, you actually stop and you get closer to the surface and you start seeing the details that sometimes you miss out on because you're just walking through what is expected of you. And I think this is where Liam's installation becomes very, very successful and brings this life and again draws our gaze back to these very, very important details that we sometimes unfortunately miss. Aber vor allem, wo unsere Ob äh, Objekte herkommen, Syrien und Irak, wir verbinden das aus den Nachrichten eigentlich immer nur mit schrecklichen Nachrichten. Mit äh, Bürgerkrieg, mit dem sogenannten islamischen Staat und anderen Dingen. Und es war doch ein großer Wunsch, auch nochmal darauf hinzuweisen, dass es diese Weltgegenden sind, denen wir erstens sehr, sehr viel Schönheit verdanken und aber auch ganz, ganz wichtige äh, zivilisatorische Neuerungen, einschließlich der Erfindung der Schrift.